channel. I'm Alyssa and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video. If you've watched any of my recent What I Eat in a Day videos, you'll notice that I am now doing these more formal or I guess produced intros and outros. And I've really liked doing that because I sometimes have some things I want to talk to you about before we dive in and after the video ends that I just don't have time to cram in into my traditional vlog style video. So I'm going to keep doing this for the time being. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And today's I am excited to talk to you about because I am trying the Beyond Burger. If you guys are any part of the vegan world, then you've probably heard of this insane burger. It's a veggie burger. Well, it's a vegan burger. It's not a veggie burger, but it seriously resembles a hamburger. It is juicy like a hamburger. You grill it like a hamburger, and I am really excited to try it in this video. So I'm showing you how to make it, and I'm going to do a little taste test on camera to show you what it looks like. I'll show you all the juiciness. So this video is not sponsored. I just, they sent me some to try and they're not paying me to write anything about it. They didn't even ask me to share anything, but I know that there's kind of been a lot of buzz about these burgers and I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to make them and tell you what I think. So keep on watching. We'll start with my just traditional, what I eat in day, always starting with matcha. You guys know me. And then dinner time, we will talk about the Beyond Burger. So let's go ahead and dive in. So pre-breakfast today was my matcha latte and I had a few dried figs because I was going to a workout. So my matcha today was from Ipoto Tea and I used about a teaspoon, sweetened it with monk fruit extract. The potions I used were he shu wu and cordyceps. And then I also used some pumpkin spice because I absolutely love it. And then my creaminess was from coconut butter. I've talked about this in some of my previous ones. It's amazing. And then I top it with a little bit of almond milk and some warm water. I have a kettle that I'll link below that boils it to exactly the temperature that green tea needs to be at. So I pour it in my water, blend it up on my blender, and then I pour it into my mug. It is so creamy and frothy and it's such an awesome way to start the day. And since I was going to an early morning workout, I didn't feel like having a whole breakfast, so I just had two dried figs. I love dried figs pre-workout because they have some great carbs. Post-workout, I came home and made a chocolate smoothie bowl. I've been on a major chocolate smoothie bowl kick lately, but this one I did a little bit differently because I added in some pumpkin, and then I also added in some parsley. I will say I added a little bit too much, so it was a little strong, but that's okay. And then I packed in as much spinach as I could. I like spinach as my greens because I feel like it has the most mild taste. And then I also did some frozen broccoli and frozen cauliflower, which adds even more great nutrients. I steamed this and then froze it. And then I added in some frozen blueberries and I used this Navitas Essential Superfood Blend which is cacao and it has some green powder in it and also some protein. And then I also used about a teaspoon of their new Beauty Boost Superfood Boost. This has a ton of antioxidants, also some flaxseed powder so you get some omega-3s in there and I really, really like it. I will link both of those in the description box below. And then I also added in some raw cacao. And then I blend it up with a little bit of water. You could also use almond milk, transfer it into a bowl. You can see it's so thick, it's like ice cream. And then I topped it with sliced strawberries. Also some buckwheat groats, a little bit of coconut, and also some cacao nibs. And then I actually took a photo and then I topped it with some peanut butter, but the peanut butter wasn't very pretty, but it added in some nice healthy fats. So I was really, really happy with this breakfast. So around lunchtime, I actually had a snack rather than lunch. I worked out and I didn't get home till like 10, so my eating schedule was a little off today, but I had a seltzer and a protein bar. This is from 22 Days Nutrition and it was pretty good. 10 grams of protein and made with good ingredients. And then my lunch slash late afternoon meal was a bagel and some sliced zucchini and homemade falafel. And the homemade falafel recipe I am definitely still working on. This is a little bit crumbly, so I'm going to do some more testing and then I'll definitely share it if it works out. And then I just sliced up some zucchini and I toasted a half of a bagel. And then the bagel I topped with some Kite Hill almond cream cheese and some sliced avocado. And then I also used a little bit of pea shoots, which I think are really pretty. And then I cracked on some fresh black pepper and added a little bit of truffle sea salt, which is 
amazing. I highly, highly recommend that you guys get some truffle salt. It is so good. And this was a perfect meal. It was pretty light, also filling from the healthy fats, and I got some protein from the almonds and the falafel, and it was a great lunch. And the last but not least, my dinner tonight was a Beyond Burger with a salad. So I meal prepped a bunch of these ingredients for the salad, and the base is spinach, romaine, kale, radicchio, and cabbage. And then I topped those with some sliced radish, and also some roasted purple cauliflower that I roasted with olive oil and sea salt and cracked pepper. And then our dressing, Matt made just a simple olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. I think that's what he does, and it's so good. So then here is the Beyond Burger. This is what the packaging looks like, and you can see it literally looks like a burger patty, like a beef burger patty. It is made without any soy, gluten, and it's non-GMO. There's 20 grams of protein per serving, and it's super easy to cook. You just cook it three minutes per side, either on your grill or your pan. I don't have a grill, so I used a pan. And because these have a lot of oil in them, I didn't grease my pan ahead of time. This is a nonstick pan anyway. So I had it over medium heat, and I just cooked them until they were nice and browned, flipped them over. And then while they were cooking, I sliced up a tomato and made some guac. So I mashed up a whole avocado and then I squeezed in some lime juice, added in some salt, and some cracked pepper, and then also some chili powder and cumin, and then I just stir that all together. And this is awesome for topping on the burgers. And then to serve the burgers, I use a lettuce wrap because I can't have regular burger buns. So I did a layer of tomato, then the Beyond Burger, then some guac on top, and squeezed on some ketchup and mustard because that's the classic combo. Folded it up, and here's what I thought. All right, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Here we go. I have it like this, wrapped wrapped up in a lettuce wrap. So, wow, you guys, that is crazy. Look at the texture. I'll flip it around in a second and show you the texture of the inside. But it literally, I mean. Matt's gonna try it and he is a meat eater, so I'll know if it actually tastes like meat, but has the very similar texture and it definitely tastes similar to a burger. So, you guys can find Beyond Meat. This one's called the Beyond Burger. If you can find it, I feel like I have ketchup on my face. No, but if you can find it in your local stores, definitely recommend trying it. This for me is probably gonna be not like a staple because it's fairly high in fat, there's a lot of oil in it and high in sodium, so I would say that it's probably something that I would definitely have in my freezer for barbecues, special occasions, probably bring some up with me to Maine for the 4th of July, and yeah, definitely recommend that you guys check them out though. They are a really great alternative to regular meat burgers. And there you have it my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day video. I'd love to know your feedback. Let me know if you've tried the Beyond Burger before or if you have any other store-bought veggie burgers that you absolutely love and that you recommend I try. I really like keeping frozen veggie burgers on hand because they're a great way to sneak in some protein, they're super easy to make, and a lot of times they're pretty good. So let me know if you have recommendations. And I also wanted to ask you guys a really quick question. I'm thinking of starting a second channel here on YouTube that is just recipe focused because there are a lot of videos that I've created that I haven't shared on YouTube. I share them on social or I put them on my blog, but I just haven't felt that they deserve their own video in the sense that I'm not necessarily like putting an intro and outro with them, doing the whole voiceover thing. It's really more of those social media or Facebook style videos that you see. So they're quick, there's just directions on the screen, there's some music, and it's not a lot of personality from me. I reserve the personality for you guys, so hopefully you guys like that. But if you are interested and think that would be something that you might like, let me know in the comments below because I have a ton that I could add onto that channel. And it would be a really great way for you guys to just search by recipe. And I would put playlists together so that you could search by breakfast, dinner, whatever you wanted. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. And other than that, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so by clicking the red button that's right below this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!